and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here with me tonight, making his uh, Fan Schmodown co-hosting debut. Granted, this was sort of a last-second edition, but a, a very welcome one nonetheless. Give it up for the recently coming out of retirement, Matthew Kearns. Kearns, A, welcome back to the league. B, Thank welcome you. on to the show, back. And how, what are your thoughts going into this match tonight? Uh, going into this match, you know, we got two strong fighters who we, we've seen before. Um, I mean, I don't really know who, who to choose in this match. I think it's really going to come down to round two and which category, you know, because if someone gets their... I think round two, like always, it makes the difference in these types of matches. Yeah, it, no, that is more than true. And as uh, you know, as we see with more of these debuts that we keep uh, popping out left and right, you know, now that the title match is done and we got the champ. Um, yeah, I could not agree more. And so with that, let's meet our competitors tonight. So coming in with a record of one and one, fresh off his win against uh, Steven Anderson, give it up for Ryan, the Braveheart McClellan. Ryan, welcome back to the show, man. How's it feel? It feels good to be back. Um, I'm nervous because I've had a, a rocky career, um, just a rough start against you, and then I, thankfully I had a win. But um, yeah, I don't know. Case he's a, he's a good competitor, and and so we'll just see. I mean, I'm hoping that his loss and his last match has kind of shaken him, and I'm hoping I can pull the win. But it really could go either way because I think we're actually pretty evenly matched. So. I yeah. would agree, and your opponent, as you already mentioned, is... Wait, what What the... Okay, so... Deadpool? Deadpool? Is this a Bobby Finstock thing? I don't appreciate this. <laughs> I appreciate it, but Here's I don't get it. <laughs> I am the assassin. Deadpool is an assassin. So I decided to put on a Deadpool mask for this occasion, because I like to. Okay, well, with that out of the way, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fan movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, with a record of one win, one defeat, he unfortunately missed out on his chance for a title shot recently against Mike Hanley, but here he is hoping to get some standings back. Give it up for the assassin. Case Cornelisa and his opponent with a record of one win, one defeat. He is one of the co-creators of the fan movie trivia Schmodown League. Give it up for Ryan the Braveheart McClellan. Okay, so Case, is it time to make the chimichangas? <laughs> it's time to make a chimmy f***ing changas. <laughs> awesome. So, round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories and sets of twos. Each question is worth one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Ryan, somehow you're the favorite going into this match. Would you like to go first or second? Um, I'll go first. Okay, sounds good. And Case, please choose either Category 1 or Category 2. I'll go with Category number 1. Okay. Kearns, I will have you please read to uh, Case, and I will read to Ryan. For your first question, under the category of Horror, the Overlook Hotel was located in which state in The Shining? <sighs> I don't know. I'll just guess Nebraska. Close. I was looking for Colorado, one of the first U.S. states not to legalize <laughs> marijuana. Yeah, yeah, not, not uh, right, yeah so. I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. For your second Take question, a shot, everybody. Exactly. For your second question, under the category of comedy, Patrick Stewart makes a surprise cameo as which role in Robin Hood Men in Tights? Oh, my gosh. I'm 
Can I actually get that question one more time? Yeah, of course. In the category of comedy, Patrick Stewart makes a surprise cameo as which role in Robin Hood Men in Tights? Five, no idea. Four. Okay. I don't know. I was looking for King Richard. Okay. Never would have got that. Kearns, we take it over to Case. All right, Case. The question's from Category 1. All right, your first question under the Category of Horror. Johnny Depp makes feature film debut in which 1984 horror film? We need Todd? No! Oh, I'm sorry. That would be <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. He's the guy who gets sucked into the bed. I've not seen the movie. Should have switched categories. Damn it. <laughs> hey, it was my choice. All right, Case, under the category of comedy, which limb does the Black Knight lose first in Monty Python and the Holy oh, Grail? His right arm? Ah, it was 50-50 was his left arm. But it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. And Ryan, we come yeah. back over to you in a category I'm sure you'll do okay in. In the category of Star Wars. Ah. Finish, th <laughs> finish this quote from Return of the Jedi. If you will not turn to the dark side, blank. Of course, I suck at movie quotes. Ugh. Shut up, Case. Five. Then you will die. Ooh. Then perhaps she will. Never! <laughs> okay. I hate Star Wars. Worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Ryan loses match. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> For your final question, under the category of famous directors... Ah, yeah. Here we go. Ang Lee has won twice at the Academy Awards in the category of Best Director. Name the two films he won for. Brokeback Mountain and and Life of Pi. Nice! He's on the board. Finally. <laughs> All right, Case, we take it back to you in a category that um, I'm not sure how you're going to fare, but Star Wars. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. According to Han and Luke, Chewbacca is a prisoner transfer from which cell block? 1138. That nice. is correct, and you are on the board. Tiger. Got the easy one. <laughs> too easy. All right. In the category of famous directors, David Lynch has been nominated three times for Best Director at the Oscars. Name two of the three films he was nominated for. I don't know David Lynch's films, so I, I don't know. I'll give up. You sad. I don't know sad, what you missed you. Ryan, I'm just curious. For for just for you know bragging rights sake. Uh I would ha be guessing, but I would say like probably Mulholland Drive is probably one of them. That was one that of them. That is. And I'm trying to think of some of his more recent stuff. I don't know, a racer head maybe? Oh no, El Man and Blue Velvet were both. Oh Blue Velvet, that is recent. Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, the score is tied at one, coming to round two, and it will go <laughs> as such. <laughs> Each competitor will choose a number between one through six, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece, Though multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Ryan, you are still uh, the favorite in the tie game. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go second this time. Okay. Case, the categories in this round are fantasy sci-fi, movie release dates, action adventure, scores and soundtracks, Harrison <clears throat> Ford, and animated. Please choose a number between one through six. 
Or? That is the category of action adventure. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Surprise. <clears throat> okay. First question in the category of action adventure. What sport is the focus of 1996's Sudden Death? Baseball? Ooh, Ryan, chance to steal. I've never seen it, so I'll just say football. All right, I was looking for hockey. Ice hockey. Oh! Damn it. People depress me. That is a classic. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Eh, it's, it's fine. It's All not right. Miracle. I True. That's a different conversation we can That's have. Another conversation altogether. Next question. In speed... What is the speed the bus has to be kept above in order to prevent the explosion? Uh, 80 miles an hour. Ooh, I'm sorry. Uh, Ryan, chance to steal. 55. Wow, both incorrect. I was looking for 50. Oh, 50. <gasps> Jeez. Oh, wait, it's 80 kilometers, I believe. Yeah. Well, metric system. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah European, yeah, yeah, whatever. Metric system, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your next question. In The Expendables 2, who played the role of the main villain? Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Ryan Chancellor. I have not seen this movie in forever. Was it Dolph Lundgren? I'm so sorry. That would be my favorite action hero, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Who starred in 1996's Sudden Death, which is a Ah, uh, 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 okay. All right, and your last question, the category of action adventure case. Who is the first of the team to be killed in Predator? Mm. Oh, multiple choice. We're looking for the character's name, not the actor. Multiple choice. Okay, your options are A, Hawkins, B, Dylan, C, Billy, D, Mac. C. Ryan, chance to steal. God damn it. A. That is correct. For one uh-huh. point. Okay. Oh, so, it's a rough match. That's a rough match. So, sometimes fortune favors the bold, and other times it just uh, screws you in the butthole. So, <laughs> Ryan, the remaining categories in this round are scores and soundtracks, Harrison Ford, fantasy sci fi, animated and movie release dates please choose a number between one through six and four is off the table i'll go with one that is a category of movie release dates would you like to stick with that or go for something else no i'll <laughs> go with two okay and kerns category of animated animated all right well we'll see all right your first question in the category of animated is Ralph Batchke adapted the first two books of what popular fantasy book franchise in 1978? Multiple choice, please. All right, multiple choice. A, The Chronicles of Narnia. B, The Lords of the Rings. C, Discworld, or D, The Dark Tower. Lord of the Rings. That is correct. Couldn't remember if it was that or something else, but I was pretty sure it was that. But... All right, your next question. Pixar had its first success with the film Toy Story. Which film did Pixar follow it up with? A Bug's Life. That is correct. All right. What famous musician voiced the character Dodger in Disney's Oliver and Company? I will go with multiple choice. All right. Multiple choices. A. Huey Lewis. B. Michael Jackson. C, Billy Joel, or D, Bruce Springsteen? 
Bruce Springsteen? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Case with the steel. Michael maybe? Jackson. I'm sorry, it is Billy Joel. Ah. Second guess. Damn you, Billy Joel. Well, don't Why worry, you still have you still have one <laughs> more question here, and your final question is. What is the name of the main character in Brad Bird's The Iron Giant? Hogarth. That is correct. Yeah. Wow. I, oof. For two is, points there. That's okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Case, he, he took the gamble and it just it didn't pay off, unfortunately. I mean, I know my action adventure, but those movies that were in there, I haven't seen, so... I... Yeah, well, I wrote that category, so you should really get on seeing those movies. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Expendables do hell no. <laughs> All right. As we come into round three, and it will go as such, each competitor will be given the year, <clears throat> genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone, and they get it correct, they'll receive five <clears throat> points. However... If two more keywords are needed, the total possible goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible goes down to one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Ryan, because you win the lead, please choose either movie number one or movie number two. Movie number two, please. Okay. Uh, Kearns, I'll read, have you read to Case. And Case, uh, friendly reminder, kind of like last time, I know. Unfortunately, you're gonna like you'll need to hit the five to get in a good position. You'll need to hit the three to stay alive. Yeah. Best of luck. All right. So case is moving one, correct? That's correct. All right. So the year is 2015. The genre is drama, and the first. Two keywords, three, okay, are Little Boy, Imprisonment, and Birthday Cake. Is it Room? Five is points correct. to the Assassin! Damn you. Woo. Damn, this game is getting good. Free Larson. Nicely <laughs> I've done. I've seen that movie. <laughs> okay, now, this, was, this is really good, but if Ryan gets the five or the three... He does still win. Not with a TKO, but he does still win the game due to point differential. Ryan, your year is 1995. Your genre, action, crime, and drama. And your first three plot keywords are thief, criminal, and honor. Just to be safe, I'm going to go with two more keywords. Okay. Your next two keywords are news broadcast and gun battle. All right. 1995. Drama, crime. And action. What else? And action. Action. And then my keywords again, please. Okay. The first five. Thief, criminal, honor, news broadcast, and gun battle. Five, four. Yeah, I'm just going to go for one more. Okay. Heist is your last keyword. I'm kind of guessing, is it good, fellas? Ooh, I'm sorry. Heat? I was looking for heat. Yeah. Oh, it's 91, if I'm not mistaken. Goodfellas was yeah, I knew the year wasn't right, but I had to say something. Damn it. Oh. Now, say, Kearns, you know a lot about that film, don't you? Maybe from uh, a, cer a certain round three you had a while back. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, Doman, Argo, f yourself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and we're coming to round four, and it will go as such. I will ask five questions. The competitor who is behind will go first, and then we'll go to the next competitor. Basically put, how this will go. The person who is behind will get one last chance to catch up. What will then happen 
if they do win, if they do come out of the this round with the, with a head, they win. But if the but if, and if it's a tie, we have a sudden death tiebreaker. Basically put, this is the last chance for both of our players to rack up some more points. In on the off chance that maybe the rounds didn't go the way they had hoped. So the category is movie quotes. You will name the movie from the quote. Case, I'm starting with you. Right now the score is seven to six. Let's see how this goes. Your first quote, Case. I was cured, all right. I was looking for a clockwork orange. It's the last line. I want to see that once. Okay, Ryan. Your first quote. Why is it every time you start something, I'm the one ending up in trouble? Fuck. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, I suck at movie quotes. It's all right. My childhood is hurting, though. That was from The Prince of Egypt. Ryan oh. and Val Kilmer seem to go together Damn. a lot in this. And I, I love to... that movie, too. Damn it. I love that movie. It's I'm good. disappointed in myself. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point, Kearns. Case, your next quote. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Before Vendetta? Ooh, I'm sorry. I was looking for the usual suspects. Ryan's looking like he really wanted that one. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. That's like... If Ryan misses this and Case hits, we go to a sudden death tiebreaker. But if Ryan hits this, it's all over. Pressure's on. Okay. Ryan. How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? <laughs> Who is that? To... Um... Is that a reference to anything, Chris? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Time. How about no, you freaky Dutch bastard? That was Dr. Evil saying that line and Austin ah. Powers and Gold member. Come on, Scott, okay. don't look at me like a freaking Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Case for the possible tie. 60% of the time, it works every time. Ah. Anchorman. Oh. Tie game! We go! Oh, damn Jack! <laughs> damn you, Case. I've seen Anchor Man. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. It's been a while since we've been in this route, huh, boys? So, how this will work? I will have Kearns read the question. The competitors will use their name as a buzzer. <coughs> Whoever says their name first has the chance to answer. If they guess correctly, they get a point and win the game. If they guess incorrectly, they lose a point, and the comp the other the opponent wins the game. Kearns, please read them the question. All right. So for the tiebreaker question, what was the name of the planet? General Grievous was discovered Case. to be... Pirate. Ryan. Case. Case. You to pow. And your oh, winner! The assassin! Case Carnelisa! They didn't Ooh. even get to finish uh. the question. <laughs> what a Cinderella uh, comeback. Millisecond place. Damn it. Of course, it all comes down to Star Wars. Of, of course. course. Of course. Of course. 
Oh, and you know what? No, you guys can give me crap all you want, but here's the thing. Look, I am no by appearance. He's a huge Star Wars geek. We have Case competing. Who's a Star Wars geek? We have Ryan competing. Who's a Star Wars geek? I run a fucking Star Wars podcast. Come on. Of course, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. But can't even, yeah, can't even give you a hard time. Like, that was a really well-played match, Case. Like, my We're some. God. I'm. I'm. I will be back. We will be playing again. I am not like I'm accepting that I was had a pretty bad game. Like overall for me, I should have done better in some spots. Uh, yeah, I. I'm gonna beat you though. I have to. I, I have to play. I'm, I'm play gonna. Someone else. I'm gonna be honest here. I was scared shitless after round two because I got <laughs> none of the questions and you you got a lot of them. You were way ahead. Yeah, I I was uh, lucky. I knew my uh, round three question, and uh, oh my god, I can't believe I won. <laughs> but this was this was a great match, guys. This this was awesome. Yeah, yeah if you yeah. didn't get yeah because you got room like that, that really put the pressure on me. And I should have guessed heat. Like it was in the back of my mind, but I couldn't. I like I was battling it out between like three movies, and so I just picked one. And, yeah, I should have gone with heat, but oh well. <laughs> It, it, it is yeah, what it is, guys. Well fucked. I mean, well fucked, yeah. regardless. Um, oh, that was a match to watch, guys, from this end. So, good good job to both of you. Definitely. Appreciate it. Now, Case... Yeah, so I'll, I'll be back. I'm going to look for someone to beat the crap out of, hopefully, and then I'll feel strong enough to come back and take on Case again. So, Fair we'll enough. see what happens. Now, now, Case, I happen to know of a 2-in-1 competitor who I know he is dying for a match before the Ultimate Band Schmodown Tournament. Well, you don't say. <laughs> now, let me ask By you. By the way, what was his name again? Because he changes it all the time, I believe. Oh, my that, goodness. That he does. He does. In fact, no, I, I don't really know uh, who to challenge uh, because I don't know his name anymore. He's like... Uh, uh, at one point he was the legend or something, and at one point he was something else, and now he wants to change it again. I don't, I really don't know what he's uh, going. But here's the thing, I want to shut this motherfucker up because I'm so fucked up with this bullshit in the fucking group. So Chris Day, <laughs> whatever the fuck your nickname is, consider yourself challenged. Let's do this. Damn, <laughs> Chris Day, you I just opened say, up a can of whoop ass. That just happening. I want to be co-hosting for that. I want to see that live. Wow. Oh, Case man. is angry. You got Case an angry Dutchman on your angry. Tail. He's got the drive. He's got the fire. Oh, Kearns. I'm the motherfucking assassin, bitch. <laughs> Kearns, what are your uh, thoughts on this match? Oh, that match was really well played. Um, I know round two was maybe not the best. For, you know both of our competitors but I love that it came all the way down to a tiebreaker because that's this is all entertainment and what's more entertaining than it being like just one question in a category they both know so I love that and I love doing uh, co-hosting for the first time I hope you guys will uh, bring me back and uh, just a message out to all of you newbies I'm 1-0 and Dillman's gonna match me up with one of you when you're 1-0 and you'll be seeing the Man of Steel, Matt, Superman, Kearns, no longer the machine, aka the unofficial Riley, is coming back, and he's gonna make a run for that belt. I don't care which one wins it, it's gonna be over this shoulder, even though we don't have a real belt. Metaphorically, it'll be over fire, my shoulder. man, he's got some fire. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, again, Kearns, thank you for filling in, it was much appreciated. No Guys. Problem. Uh, Ryan, Case, great match, both of you. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to click like, leave a comment, subscribe to Take Three Productions. I am the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker, and we will see you at the next match. Take care.